Well, once again, the city of Los Angeles has flooded. So all of my outdoor plans are canceled today, but guess what? Eh, I'm gonna make the most of it because I'm gonna demo uh, the new Mbox Studio that Sweetwater sent over. I've been rocking this thing all month and I feel like I finally know all the features. So let's go over some of my favorite parts while I'm stuck inside and all the other cars are floating away out here. All right, so if you've watched this channel at all in the last month, uh, all my musical projects that I've been releasing have been through the Mbox Studio, just me getting ready to do it. So thanks again to Sweetwater for sending it over. Like I said, anything you ever get, do it through Sweetwater with my affiliate link because it really helps my channel out. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be going through some of the other projects and actually starting a new one right now. But this is essentially it, the Mbox Studio. Anybody who has made music from a certain age remembers the old M boxes and probably had their time with it, myself included. Now this comes with a year's worth of Pro Tools if you wanna to use that, or you can actually use this with anything else, right? You can use it with Logic, use it with whatever, right? So it can just be a standalone interface or it can be a Pro Tools complement. So uh, let's just go through some of the features real quick and then I'm gonna start making some more music with it. But basically we just got a, we've got a couple sides here. These are gonna be the inputs, these are gonna be the outputs. Now, uh, there's, there's a lot of features in this, so I'll kind of keep it to the ones that I'm just using right now. So I have stereo condenser microphones plugged in to channels three and four on the back. You can also do channels one and two on the front, which I usually use for electric guitar stuff, but I keep the mics plugged into the back. So let's say I want to just kind of go through here. I can toggle through my inputs with by pressing the encoder switch. There's one, there's two. Now you see, there's nothing going on because I haven't added phantom power to it. So now I have input three selected, hit phantom power, and there you go. See, so it's pretty hot right there, so I can turn the gain down there. Same thing with channel four, now that's on. I'm gonna eventually mash these up before I actually record the acoustic guitar. But yeah, really cool, you can just kinda go through these, five and six are on the back, line-ins, and uh, awesome, right? So again, these this is saying the input. Uh, you can actually use Bluetooth as its own input that you can actually route into your thing, which is really awesome. Input and output, which is really cool. You can check your mixes on just Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth speaker or something, so you don't have to act bouncy. You can actually do it in real time. So also you can just stream stuff right from your phone, like voice memos, if you want to get it in, reamp it. We're going to talk about the reamping in a second. But the Bluetooth stuff is amazing, right? It's kind of one of the, the features that really stood out to me the most, as far as it goes, right? And, uh, these are just four custom buttons that you can kind of use to do as just shortcuts uh, in, in Pro Tools, something like that. And then these down here are the two headphone outs, each with their own individual control. And then same with the outputs here, right? So this is the main, I can do my volume from right here. I can switch, go to my alternate speakers. I only have one set up right now. But, uh, but that's it. You can just press a button to check them in mono, which is really cool. Uh, monitor mutes, monitor dims, just to kind of like get the volume down. And then talk back, which there's a little microphone built into the interface right there too. Uh, so again, a lot of different cool stuff. We're gonna be doing it. But first I think I'm just gonna start a Logic session, do some acoustic guitar stuff, and then add some cool electric stuff, and then use some of the really interesting features coming up with that. But right now I'm just gonna use couple of uh, Earthworks microphones and just do a stereo acoustic track just to have something to work with. All right, so I just lifted a loop off of Splice and I flexed it into a different timing just to kind of have as a backing track because usually uh, just a straight click will always cause some bleed if you're starting with an acoustic guitar, so especially with open back headphones. So I just kind of like the vibe of it. So here are the preamps on the back and how they're gonna sound like just a straight acoustic guitar. Then we're gonna get a little wild after this. So this is where I'm gonna use one of the cool features. First, I'm just gonna record the mic'd up amp. And I don't really have an idea, I have an idea for the melody that I wanna do right now, but that's gonna be a lyrical thing. I wanna make some cool sounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pass through on just kind of like a real simple melody type thing. And then once I have that down with the electric guitar, I'm gonna show you 
why I want to use these high Z outputs on the back and show why this is something that's actually really cool and another one of my favorite things about the interface. Right now I'm recording electric guitar, so I'm on input three to mic the amp. You can see the levels right there. But if I want to tune the guitar, I just hit the tune button and it turns the interface into a tuner. Super accurate. It also brings up the software too. And has another one up there for you. So cool little feature. All right, so this part is super cool. There are two high Z effects sends. Now what it means when it's high Z, it just means you can switch it so you can go into a guitar pedal. So essentially it's really easy to use your guitar pedals as outboard gear, okay? So I'm going out of the effect sends into this Red Panda Raster 2 pedal that I've been using this month, which is a super weird pedal. It does like crazy, crazy stuff. And then I'm going back in. And what is going on is I can actually use this as a plugin Right? So it's like a hardware plugin because all I did is I set the uh, uh, effect send on the track that that electric guitar just was on to the effect send right here. So I can put like a full, you know, uh, I can send the entire signal to it or just part of it. And then in real time, I can adjust what it sounds like. That's a little too much. Also, I do want to shout out this power supply is awesome. This is the Mission Engineering 529i. Uh, basically, it's a battery powered power supply for your pedals, so I don't have to like mess around with a bunch of cables and like uh, like a pedal board or put it on the desk. So this thing is awesome. I feel like it will be in the description for that too. Really loving this. Uh, yeah, so I can just play the track. The pedal's off, so this is just kind of like what it sounded like, all right? Now you turn the pedal on. And then it's a delay, right? Again, this is like a super crazy pedal, so you can get like infinitely creative with like the waveforms. I love it. Uh. Then I can just... So anyways, it, it doesn't just work with delay pedals. It can be anything. You can use like compressors and stuff to actually have a compressor. You could send a vocal track through your guitar pedals, which is something that's really cool. But again, those high Z outputs are, are so cool because it just really opens up like a lot of expandability to it. And uh, I think this is kind of like a fun way to incorporate what is cool about having like the tactile thing of like guitar pedals and then use them essentially as plugins for your mixes. And uh, again, Love that, it's really cool. Gotta use this as an opportunity to play my absolute favorite bass of all time. This is Music Man uh, Stingray Short Scale. <laughs> it's like the greatest bass. This is actually my buddy Brian's bass, but I'm gonna have to get one for myself. So hit up Music Man and be like, yo, Sean needs this bass. But uh, yeah, just gonna kind of do something simple-ish. Uh, I'm just going into, again, the front panel, a uh, quarter inch in, input one. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, so I'm just gonna add some uh, extra bits to some electric guitar with some delay on it, a little bit of uh, piano stuff with my keyboard here, and uh, here's what the final product sounds like. Thank you so much to Sweetwater and Avid for sending the Mbox Studio over. Hope you learned something about like, the music. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Oh, what a swing.
من ما Set a flame in the spoils of life. The smell of smoke so quick to jump. I'm not afraid. 